Well, continued heavy police presence on the streets has led to another evening of calm, but questions are still being asked about what motivated thousands to take part in acts of looting, arson and vandalism earlier this week. Tom Parment has been speaking to gang members who were involved in looting across South London. They appear to show no remorse, saying they had no choice as society had let them down. The looting of London was on an industrial scale. Houses and flats across the capital and other cities have been filled with an extraordinary haul of goods. We don't know exactly where this room is, but it is in a property in South London. It was filmed yesterday. Much of it by now will have been sold on to the black market. Much of the loot in London, Liverpool, Birmingham and Manchester was taken by existing criminal gangs. Others, though, were people from different backgrounds who saw something they couldn't resist. Obviously, I saw an opportunity, so I went to it, innit? And what did you get then? Oh, what did I get? Tracksuits, couple electronic stuff. I've I done this, basically, to provide for my family, innit? Like, I've got some stuff for my son, yeah? And I've got some stuff for me, like some clothes, trainers. You're 16 years old, but you were getting stuff for your son? Yeah. <laughs> I had to get some stuff for him. So and what then, did you get for him? I got him clothes. I got him nappies, powder. It's a whole Johnson set. You were all out together, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I got a couple, some TVs as well, plasmas, PS3, like laptops and stuff, innit? And how much money do you expect to make from all that? At least a couple of grand, like, at least two, two grand or something like that. And how much is two grand to you? What does that mean to you? That's, that's nice, actually, for like, not paying for nothing, innit? Like, it's all free, innit? Two grand in like a couple of days a week, that's nice, that's good pay. The hall, filmed on a mobile phone in South London, is not connected to these four teenagers. The amount they took was far bigger. I know people that know people, so I got a van. I got you a had van. a van, so you were going around in a van, filling it up in different locations from different stores? Yeah, but we also dropped it off. Some so, so you were like, going back, the van got too full, we had to drop some stuff off empty the van and then go back up. They were right in the thick of the trouble in Lewisham, but also went to Catford, Bromley and Clapham Junction, where there was a particular target. You right. went to the stores that you had applied for a job at? Yeah. I went across, like, I even went to Clapham, yeah, <laughs> to go where I handed out a CV. I was like, yeah, you didn't want to reply back to an email, or I come up here with my CV. I was like, yeah, this is payback, isn't it? Payback, boy. Which store did you go for in Clapham that you'd oh, applied for a Comet, job at? Comet, Comet. The Comet, the electrical yeah. place. Yeah. Do the punishments that are being handed out so quickly now, does that deter you? Do you think I, I could be next because I've been out looting? Does that worry you at all? No. no there's so much people, like, like you're one in a thousand people that could get caught, so not you not never know. Thousand, not even a thousand. So the odds are good, so you're prepared to take yeah. the chances? Yeah. yeah. Have any of you felt any kind of bad feelings or remorse about what you've done since the, the, the looting? Let me ask you first. Nah, I'm, I'm all right, you know. It just feels like a normal day to me. It's normal. It's nothing, really. And what about you? Any bad feelings at all? Have you ever thought about it at night when you've been sleeping in your bed? No, because I'm watching my plasma that I just got. <laughs> it feels like Christmas came early, so no. A lot of people wouldn't see any sense in what you were doing because it was outrageously wrong in a lot of people's eyes. The government are saying that it is utterly unacceptable and there's no reasoning behind it. Do you think there is any reasoning behind it? Every time I go out, yeah, I'll go Bromley, West End, I'll dress smart, the smartest I can. I even beg my mum for a new pair of trainers, that like, pair of shoes, like smart shoes. Let's go out, hand out my CV, you know, talk the politest I can. But, nah, they ain't noticing me, so obviously if they ain't noticing me from that, I'm gonna have to start doing it a different way. Generations of people have worked hard and come from all sorts of backgrounds with nothing and worked hard to get what you guys just went out and took. Do you not think that that's a better way of doing it, a more respectable way of doing it, than just going and stealing? We work hard, but they're not giving us no jobs, like, yeah, give our CVs. Not giving us the they're, like, not giving us they're not giving us the opportunity to go work hard and show them, yeah, that's we can do this. Yeah. We can be as, like, you know, wealthy as you. Like, we can do exactly what you can do. We tried to but do this. They but don't like, want to give us that chance. They don't want to give us that chance. Right now, it looks like they're in the future for young people. That's how I see it, innit? Because the government, 
they're not helping no one out except for the rich people. They don't care for us, they just leave us on the blocks to do whatever we do. There's a lot of wealth in this city. I mean, you only got to look over there, there's Canary Wharf behind us. And in this city, there's a, a real focus on celebrity and money and materialism. Mm. See, and, that's, and that's who the government is looking out for. Them people up there, yeah? He's not thinking about, look at, look at this, look at the flats, look at the flats. Yeah, like, them, yeah. yeah you know what I mean? Like, they're not thinking of us, they're thinking about that one pocket that's up there. That one pocket. What is your take on how everyone's feeling, where this goes from here? What do you think? If the government helps, I could tell you it will stop happening. But, so if the what, what should the government do then to sort out your life to make sure that you don't go out looting? They should put back on EMA, help all the single mothers Uni that are struggling. Cuts. Put that back on. Uni cuts, everything. Like, come on, money-wise, isn't it? Basically, because this ain't just like we're doing it for the fun of it. We're doing this for money, to survive in this world. But until we get that, or a little bit of support from the government, it's not gonna stop. That's what I think, isn't it? Feeling isolated in life isn't an excuse, but it is part of the context. In explaining their actions, these lads have made it much more likely that the police will catch them. But they wanted to give their reasons. They wanted what they haven't got, a voice. Tom Parman to Sky News, South London.